Yo, what's going on everybody out there in YouTube land? All right, guys, today we're going to finish working on uh, continuing getting the bodywork on my 95 F250. So, my other two videos, we saw we got this prepped, we got that one and the other side. We're just going to keep working our way down this, like I said, guys. So, we got one thing here. Rest don't look too bad, but anyway, as far as that door goes, um, I don't know if I got something going on in here, but we'll take all that off and, and see. So, but here's where we're going to be pulling out some dance along here, okay? Get that all pulled out today. Get it bondoed, same steps. Probably get it primed once and then we'll have to uh, block sand it. On here, I'm not gonna get to it today, but what probably we're gonna do, I was talking with uh, my babe's dad and he's thinking on this side, we'll probably uh, cut along here. And cut this all out, guys. Reshape it, rebend it, weld it back in. He was saying by doing that step, a lot of times once you uh, pound out that type of type of uh, metal like that, it actually will kind of stretch back, so you don't really lose anything. Is what he was telling me. First time doing any type of work like this, guys. This side in his bath, so I think we could pull that out. It, bo it bounces back and forth. You know, this side on the extended cab is a lot worse than the other side. So, we thought about doing the same thing there. I'm still not sure. Um, but with this door, I don't think there's much work there. I'll look it over more closer. But I think we're going to start on the passenger side first. And uh, go from there, guys. So. Some of the spots, you know, you're not going to be able to get in with the grinder when using the stud welder. So, on them points like that there, we're going to have to get by hand. And then again, looking over it visually without camera, see, there's another ding there. And same thing, the grinder couldn't get right in there by hand, so let's sand it. Other than that, it looks like it's about ready. Get some... Uh, wild studs on there and get the dent puller and start kinking this bad boy out and see where we get guys so that's the next step use the welding gun with some welding stuns and dent puller all right let's get that going and on this side you can see i already started pulling you can see i was pretty impressed man that's all I put so far, and, and it, where Bridget's filling, it already started popping out, as you can kind of see there. But where she's putting X's, that's where I'm going to hit my next ones and continue popping. We got, it's a little spongy here. So, by putting some more here and pulling it out farther, <clears throat> that should take away, help take away that sponge, huh, Bridge? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here's where we're at on this side. I pretty much got, try to get you a shot here, of it coming back and taking shape. So, I'm going to get these grinded. We're just going to put our first layer of Bondo and get the other side pulled out. It's not so spongy anymore. I'm using the same pressure. Yeah, it's moving. I don't know if you can see it. It's moving. But before you noticed she was she was bouncing in. She's not doing that no more. And I'm pushing pretty good. So I'm happy we got the sponge out. So alright. Just wanted to mention that in case they were wondering how the sponge came. I'm leaving it right there. Alright guys, one thing I forgot to mention is some of them wild studs when I was pulling them 
would pop off. Not all of them, just some. So, on something like that, before we put the Bondo, we're going to put, uh, what'd you say, Bridge? Fiber, fiber mesh? Glass. Fiberglass? Mm -hmm. It's the long hair fiberglass. Long hair fiberglass. And that's what we're using right there, guys. So, she's going to mix it up, apply all that on them holes real quick. That just a type of hardener, Bridge? Yeah. So it's pretty much mixing spot putty mm -hmm. and bondo. Now, I never, this, this is the first time I've even seen this, so you're going to cover the holes with it. Right. And then we sand it with the, we're going to sand it with the 40 grit. Okay, then you sand it with the 40, and that's it. Then and bondo. Then we'll put bondo over it. You don't, okay. How long does it normally take to dry? Like Bondo. Oh, just okay. A few okay. All right, guys. So I just want to let you know that's what we're going to be doing to fill in. If we have any holes from the weld studs that pulled out for whatever reason. And just push and squeeze it over the holes. Because the stuff is waterproof. It's right. Yeah. I think that's the main reason they use it no. on boats and things. Uh, it's better than bondo this. We could also just tack weld those maybe. Mount yep. just, 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 just. Could. But that's how we're gonna do it, right baby? Yep. Alright guys, we can get back on the other side or I lose daylight. Let's start and take shape. I'm gonna call that good. We uh same steps. Then just throw Bondo on it like the other side. I'll show you guys here, and I'm going to start filing that now. Bridget's got the air filer ready. What sandpaper is that, baby? On here? 40. 40. 40 sand. Going to use the air. Get that going. She's already working. Working around those other little dings on that door that we had. So, here we go, guys. So now we did one coat of Bondo, right, Bridgie? Oh, yeah. Filed it, worked the dents in, put a, another skim of Bondo. Just on those spots. On low spots. That's kind of where those little circles you can see there. And now we're just going to go skim coat it, spot putty. Scratch up any areas that I sanded. Okay. Cross hands. Yes. So we're gonna do this to both sides, all the way across, and then sand it again. And then after that, we prime it, right, babe? Correct. So this is where we're at, guys. Gaining, getting excited. Start taking shape, like I said. Pretty good, guys. And once we get a paint, it should really show some more definition there. We we'll just keep working and get his shape back. Oh yeah. Yeah, now this is our first coat on the little spots we're working on here. Let's see. And what did you do, Bridge? You mix this a little different, being that it's got yeah. laid on us. I um, put four parts primer, one part hardener, and just like two percent of reducer. Right. And, and then I have the air turned down real low. Okay. So there it is, guys. Our first coat. Let's set up a little bit. We'll hit it two more times, but like I said, you can already start seeing seeing that baby come out, guys.
Okay. So, all right, guys. There's one little touch-up spot we missed on the hood. And another little spot right here. Because we already worked on this area. Uh, another spot here. So, we're just finding spots. That's kind of what held us up a little bit. Another one there. And the other side... I'm going to show you real quick. Here's the other side. That's the other little spot that we got, guys. That's, she's already hitting it for the second time. And we didn't even get to prep that today. So tomorrow we'll finish up on that. Getting it sanded, same steps. Sand it down. Uh, that already got uh, what? Spot putty. a spot putty uh, coat over it. So we just got to sand it, mask it, and prime it. Trying to get it done today, but didn't happen. Had a lot of things going on. And that's it, guys. Finish the rest of tomorrow. And here we are the next day. After we got the mask off and primered and... Put the guide coat on. And we're pushing up the other side. Here's the other side. Already got it sanded. We got it marked. I don't know if you guys see the pencil marks. Real light pencil marks scratched up. We're gonna apply another coat of steps are at guys you can already see it taking shape we're all happy with the results still have to be worked some more before it's ready for paint but it's getting there so getting excited continue getting excited all right guys so here we go putting the last coat of primer on three coats go ahead and put the guide coat on side dries So it's not overspraying too much. Of course, the last coat is picked up. Now we got to do the same steps. This one takes a real nice shape. Alright guys, as always, thanks for viewing, thanks for your time, be safe out there, God bless.